Hi everyone, my name is Philip, and today we're gonna talk about a popular subject here at the channel. We're gonna cover again structured data. But for this video, we're gonna focus on how we can solve structured data errors with the unplugging and rank math. I choose rank math because it's one of the most popular plugins on the market now. So, and first we need to understand how structured data works when we have a in-plug install and a SEO plugin install. When the M plugin sees that there is a SEO plugin installed in that environment, it will pass the responsibility to define what is the structured data to the SEO plugin because the SEO plugin is the specialist to define that. Some of the users, when they see a error at the Search Console, they will go to the M support forum to ask for help. That's pretty common. But for those cases, when you have a SEO plugin, all the information related to structured data came from that plugin. So, and now we're gonna cover the rank math and see how we can find the right place to define our structured data. Here I have a uh, installation running with AMP and rank math. So I will just jump to the rank math settings. I will just click on that. We are gonna get a resume for all the features for the rank math. But for today, our subject is structured data. I will just go to settings. And once I click on that, I will jump to that section that is titles and meta information. So, and here in this section, we will find all the information that is needed to create the structured data from our post. So, and here at the global settings, we will find the general configuration, but we can define some information from geolocation, like our local definition. In my case, for example, I'm a person and I have my name and a logo defined here. If you are an organization, you can change that as well. I have the information for social media that I can fill that and that information. And here at the social media area, we will define all the information that is needed to share, for example, our content Facebook and other platforms. But the most common information that we need to fill, for example, are the information for the authors that that information is used over structured data, the information for posts. So here another important item it is. If I have a different schema that I use for my posts, I can change here, for example. I can define that my default schema is book or course, for example. And you have loads of options that we can use based on our needs. But if I wanna define the information for only one post, where I can find that? For that, I will go to my editor and at my editor, we will figure out where we can find that. So in here, I have choose one post that I created now. Uh, I just put like some dumb information here, but if I wanna change the structure of that information for that post specifically, I will go to the score for the rank math. And so here I have all the configuration related to the rank math and I will click in schema. And here in schema, I can see which type of structured data we are using. So I can edit that and I can see that, for example, in this case, I will get the default configuration that's get the title for my post and the description for my post. But also we can define that information. We can define some custom information inside those fields. And once I define that, I will click on save if we have a special scenario that is not an article, it is a page that talks about one person, how we can do that? So I can just click here on delete and I can remove that schema and I can go back to the schema generator and I can select, for example, one person. So, and here we will use the schema for person and we can define all the information that we need if it's required, for example, email, and an address. And with that information, Rank Math Plugin will define the structured data for that page. And if you are liking this content, please smash the like button, share this content with your friends that are having the same issue. And now let's talk about one important thing, uh, how we can figure out that we have problems with our structured data and how we can fix that. And we're gonna see now. First, we need to jump to one page that is the reach result test page. So on that page, I can get the link from my post and do a test over that. So I will just get the preview for my post or just update that. Here I have the address of my page. I will just paste on the test too. And 
I will run the test. Once the test is done, we're going to get the feedback if something is right or wrong. In my case, I have one problem that is related to the AMP article. And here at my AMP article, I will just check what is causing that shoot. And that problem is caused by a missing field, that is an image. Because as we can see here, at this post, we don't have any image. So what I need to do, I will just edit my post. I will go to my post configuration. I will select a feature image for that post. I will just need to upload one image. So for example, I'm talking about Lagos. So I'm talking about Lagos Portugal. I just post one image from Lagos Portugal and I will save there and I will update my post. And here, my post, we have a feature image now, that's a square image, but I will just go back to the rich result test and I will run the test again. And now all the problems are solved because we have uploaded the image that was missing, that was a requirement for our AMP article, and we stopped getting that error. And as we can see in this video, like we didn't even touch on the AMP plugin, we just did everything with rank math inside our content. And usually those problems, they are related to two main items. One is the configuration for plugins that we can just go, for example, inside the rank math settings and change that formation, or two, that is the information inside our post. For example, my post didn't have a feature image. Once we uploaded that, the problem was solved. And that's it, how we can fix problems related to structured data with rank math and AMP. Once the problem is solved, you just go to the Google Search Console and flag that that item is fixed and your content will shine on the search again. So, and if you need any help with the AMP plugin, please contact us at the support forum. I will leave the link at the description below and thanks for watching again and see you next time. Ciao.